Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Emerson and I'm a fourth grade teacher in Maryland. A couple of videos ago, I shared the five habits that have allowed me to work only contract hours as a teacher. And in that video, I did share about Google Keep. And I suddenly realized that a lot of people either didn't know what Google Keep was or they weren't sure how to use it. And I felt like that was just unacceptable because Google Keep has been a game changer for me. So in today's video, I'm going to do a very basic tutorial for getting started with Google Keep, and I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit of customization to make it your own. Let's start by talking just a little bit about what Google Keep actually is. Google Keep is a free website or app from Google Think of it as virtual sticky notes. So if you have ever had a pile of sticky notes on your desk of things that you needed to remember, checklists of things that you needed to do, links that you wanted to be able to keep, like, you know, websites, like not obviously the actual link on the sticky note, but the website that you wanted to go to. Google Keep is a way of storing all of that digitally. It is a fantastic tool. And if you are not using it, I highly recommend you go ahead and give it a try. Next, let's talk about how to actually access Google Keep. First of all, there is an app. Just search Google Keep in the App Store and it will come right up. It is free to download. Or if you are accessing it on your computer, you're going to go to the address bar, type in keep.google.com and it will take you directly there. There are a few different ways that you can also get to it through your Gmail or through your Google Drive. There is a little sidebar on the right hand side that will allow you to access Google Keep, but the main way that I get there is just through my desktop browser or the app. And keep in mind, you can always add a bookmark so that you can get to it even faster. Now, I'm not using my Pocketful primary Gmail account because my Google Keep is already full of tons of notes, and instead, I decided to start with a clean Google Keep. So I'm actually using Billy and I's like joint Gmail account. Since it is the first time I'm logging on, it's telling me the dark theme is here. I'm just going to click got it. So let's start with actually creating a note. Up at the top, you're going to see it says take a note. Now you have a few different options for starting your note, but we're gonna come back to those. You can actually start a new list. You can start a new note with drawing or you can start a new note with an image. But again, we're gonna come back to this for now. I'm just gonna click where it says, take a note. Now you will notice that I can give my note a title and I actually have a spot to take the note. Now, if you saw my video about working only contract hours, you probably saw these really fancy or what you thought was really fancy headers that I had added to my Google Keep. Those are just images that I added to the note and I'm actually giving them to you all for free. So go ahead and download the set of 10 Google Keep headers on my website. Just go to pocketfullofprimary.com, click on freebies at the top and you can have those sent right to your email inbox. Once you have have downloaded them, you're gonna have a zip file, go ahead and unzip that file. I'm actually gonna start by showing you how to insert those onto Google Keep. So pause the video, go download those, and then come back and play it. All right, so in order to add that header, I need to insert it as an image. So I'm gonna click on the image button, which looks like a little square with mountains on it. I'm gonna go ahead and select those images, which are in my downloads. I'm going to open up that folder and let's start by creating one for my weekly to-dos. I'm going to click open and it's going to automatically place that image at the top of your Google Keep note. Now I'm gonna go ahead and title my note. Even though I have that header image, I still want to actually title the note. Since this is all about weekly to-dos, I might put the week that I'm working on. So for example, week of January 17th to the 24th, or maybe it's the 23rd. I don't even know, I don't have a calendar in front of me, but it's not important. Then I can actually take the note. Now, because this is meant to be a checklist, it's a list of to-dos and I want to be able to check them off, I actually want to show checkboxes. So I'm gonna click on the three dots and I'm going to choose show checkboxes. That way, as I add those weekly to-dos, it's going to allow me to check them off. So for example, I might put record YouTube videos. <laughs> when you hit enter, it's going to bring you down to the next one that you can add. So I'm going to put record podcast 
episodes, so on and so forth. Now, while we're talking about the different elements of the note, let's go ahead and just go through all of the buttons. First of all, let's start with the pin in the upper right-hand corner. Pinning a note is going to keep it at the top of your Google Keep. As you start adding five, 10, 20 notes, things can get buried. So if there are notes that you are using more frequently, you're gonna wanna click that pin button so that it stays up at the top and it's easy to access. Now let's come down here. I do have a remind me button. This is going to allow me to connect a reminder to my Google Keep note. Keep in mind, this is not going to place it on your Google Calendar. It is, however, going to give you a notification within your internet browser to let you know that you have that reminder. So for example, I could have it remind me later today, tomorrow, next week. When you click on it, you can actually customize the date and the time. So I'm gonna click here. I can pick the date, pick the time, and I can have it repeat. So if this is a reminder you need every single week, you can choose weekly. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now keep in mind, if you are using these reminders, you may have to go into your browser settings in order to allow the notification from Google Keep. The second button down at the bottom is to add a collaborator. So this allows you to share the note with someone else. For example, Bridget and I, who have a business together, might have a shared note of things that we have to do for teaching on the double. You might also want to share one of the notes with your coworkers. Let's say you both teach math and you wanna have a weekly planning checklist and you both wanna be able to add to the list and edit it, add their email, and then you both will be able to do that. The next button allows you to customize the color, which I absolutely love. Personally, I like to keep all of my notes different colors because it makes it very easy for me to find what I need, but you could also use it to color code different areas of your life. You could have work be one color, you could have family things be another color, you could have personal things be another color. Now those free Google Keep headers that I created for you all are black and white, so that way it won't interfere with the color that you choose for the note. We already went through the next button, but it does allow you to add an image. Now just to show you, you can add more than one image to a note. I'm just gonna show you, for example, if I add another header, what happens? I'm gonna go ahead and click the add image button and let's choose afternoon and click open. It's going to put them side by side up at the top. So you can add multiple images, but it is gonna slightly change the layout of your headers. If you want to remove an image, just hover over it, click the little trash can. Oh, hold on, I unpinned it. You gotta find it's hiding back there. There you go. And you can actually delete that image. The next button down at the bottom is to archive the note. Archiving the note will take it off of your main Google Keep screen. So for example, if I click archive, you will notice that it has disappeared, but it is not deleted. I can click archive on the left-hand side and still be able to view my note. This is helpful if you need certain notes for a certain time of the year and then they're no longer relevant. I know personally when everything went virtual last spring, I had all these checklists that worked for in-person teaching that I no longer needed. So I I just archived them in order to get them off my main Google Keep screen. Actually, I need to unarchive that note because I'm still using it. So I'm going to select that note and I'm going to click up here to unarchive it and it's going to appear back in my main notes. I'm gonna click on it to open it up full screen and let's go to the three dots at the bottom. This is where you can actually delete the note. You can also add a label. So a label is almost a way to categorize your notes. For example, if this is a checklist, I might add a label that says checklists. I'm gonna click create checklists. You will notice the label pops up down at the bottom and it also popped up over on the side. We're gonna come back to that in just a second. For now, I'm gonna click back on the three dots. I also can add a drawing. This is actually going to open up Google Drawing and you can use the pen tool and actually hand write or hand draw anything that you want to have on here. I personally feel like this is more helpful if you are using Google Keep on a tablet and you have a stylus or even on your phone and can use your finger. I honestly don't use this feature a lot, but if you do prefer to actually hand write things, that is an option for you. I'm gonna click the back button to go back and I'm gonna click the three dots again. You also can make a copy. So if you have a note and you wanna keep the exact same formatting, you can choose make a copy and I'm gonna click close and just show you I now have a duplicate of that exact same note. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one since I don't need it. Reopen this one and go back to the three dots. You also can hide the checkboxes. So if you had them turned on and want to disable them, you have that option. But I'm going to reshow the text boxes. 
You also have the ability to grab image text. Y'all, this is a game changer. Grabbing image text will allow you to have, let's say a picture of a piece of paper that you got at a meeting. I know this happens to me all the time. We get handouts and I don't wanna hold on to the physical paper. I will take a picture with my phone. I will add that image to the Google Keep by clicking add image and it will add it in. Then I can click grab image text and it will actually take all of the words that were on that page and it will type them out for me. So this is a really easy way to hold on to articles or information that you need. Take a picture, add it in, and then grab the image text. The last option is actually to copy to Google Docs. So you can take your note and basically push it into Google Docs. Again, I don't use this feature very often, but it is there for you. So that's the basics in terms of actually creating the note. I'm gonna go ahead and click close. You will notice that the note gets a little bit smaller, and if I want to view the whole note, I can just click on it to open it up full screen. Now let's go back to what I had mentioned at the beginning. You actually can create a new list, you can create a new note from an image or a new note from a drawing. So those are those features that I already showed you. If you want to have those checkboxes, you can go ahead and click new list, and it will start the list with the checkboxes. You also can start a new note with a drawing, so again, if you want to actually handwrite something or use that drawing tool, you can. And you have the option to create a new note with an image. So again, if you take a picture at a PD meeting, you can easily create the note with just that image. Now let's go through the buttons on the left-hand side. So notes is the main section where all of your notes are housed. If you have set a reminder on a note, such as this reminder at 8 a.m. or no, I think it was 8 p.m. Yeah, every month on the same day. If I click under reminders, any notes that have reminders will appear there. You also will have your labels. So I labeled this note with the word checklist. If I create a new note and it's also a checklist, I can assign it that label and it will appear here. So if I want to view all of my checklists at one time, I have that option. Just to model that for you, I'm gonna go back to notes and I'm gonna create a note from an image. And this time let's do my power list header. So a power list is a list of just three things that I wanna get done for the day. So I would put the date here. So let's just say Sunday, January 17th. I can go ahead and show the check boxes and let's say on my power list today was to answer emails, upload footage, footage from videos, and let's say attend meeting. So I have my power list. I always like to make it red because it really gets my attention. <laughs> and it is a note that I pinned. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the pin button, click close. You will notice now I have that pin section. I actually ended up unpinning the other one. So it is down underneath. And then my pinned one is at the top. But if I pin this bottom note, it will appear up there as well. I also can click and drag to reorder them. So I like to keep my power list first. If I add a new note and it moves out of the way, I can just easily move it back. I'm gonna go ahead and add the label of checklists. And now when I go under checklists, I will see them both there. You also can click edit label so you can create all of your labels at one time or you can create them as you begin creating those notes in Google Keep. I already showed you the archive section where any archive notes will go along with the trash. So your notes will only remain in the trash for seven days. So if you accidentally delete something, you can go to the trash and take it back out. You also have the ability to hide or show this main menu by clicking the little hamburger icon. It's the main menu icon up in the top left. You also can search your notes. And what I love is it will actually search any text that you have in the images. So for example, that header that says power list is an image, it's not actual text. But if I type in power, it will pull that up. So if you add images into Google Keep from a PD, from a meeting, and you're like, ooh, I don't remember what that document is called, but I know it had something to do with growth mindset. You can type in growth mindset and it will pull it up for you. You also have a refresh button up at the top. So let's say I add a note from my phone and I wanna view it on my computer. I can click refresh and it will pop up. I can view my notes in a list view where they will be one on top of the other. It makes them a little bit bigger or in a grid view. Personally, 
personally, I like the grid view, but it's totally personal preference. You also have your settings. So you can enable that dark theme. You can go into your settings and choose whether you want new notes to go to the bottom or to the top. You can choose your reminder defaults. You can customize it in order to fit your preferences. Now that is the basic tutorial for how to actually use Google Keep. If you download that free set of headers, you will already get a bunch of ideas of how you can actually use Google Keep, such as having that power list, that weekly to-do list. You can create checklists for the things you have to do in the morning, the things you have to do in the afternoon. You also can keep a list of email templates if for some reason you can't store them in your email service provider. You also can create a list of links, like if you have important websites or maybe just a website that you need for this one meeting and you don't want to bookmark it, you can save it right in Google Keep. I actually have a video from about a year ago. It's called my top productivity secret. Spoiler alert, that top productivity secret is Google Keep, where I show myself actually making some of these checklists. So I will link that video for you down in the description box if you wanna go and check it out for some more ideas. But again, make sure you get those free Google Keep headers because that will be a fantastic start for you. Head over to pocketfullprimary.com slash freebies or just click freebies at the top and you can have them sent directly to your email inbox. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, share it out with your teacher friends, you know, spread the organizational digital love. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.